Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film my everyday makeup routine. I know I haven't posted in a while. I've actually been sick with the flu and I still am sick, if you could tell by my voice. Um, maybe not, but yeah, I decided... I need to like get up, put some makeup on, and film. Um, yeah, I decided to film this makeup look. It is very simple, easy, glowy, everyday makeup look. And yeah, so if you guys want to learn how I created this makeup look, then please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to be using this Avon Moisture Therapy Healing Repair Cream. Next, I like to apply this Dew Kiss Lip Balm. And this is also by Avon. So now that my skin is all prepped, I'm going to take this Maybelline foundation. And it is in the shade Porcelain 110. And then I'm going to take Real Technique um, sponge and I'm going to apply the foundation. So this Real Technique sponge has a flat side and has like a beauty bun beauty blender shape. I apply like a fair amount and you don't um, dampen this Real Techniques sponge. It's um, supposed to be used to dry. So after my foundation is all blended in, then I go in with my concealer. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind, Instant Age Rewind. It is in the shade Fair. I go back in with the Real Technique sponge and I just blend it in. I like to drag the product on my eyelids as well because there is some discoloration. Next, I'm going to take my all-time favorite um, loose powder, NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. It's only like $4, so I love it. Then I take this angled fluffy brush and I apply it wherever I applied my concealer. So depending on how much product I apply, I decide on the spot whether or not to bake my face. Today, I think I'm just going to bake my under eyes. Also apply whatever is left on the brush on my eyelids just to set any product. I have moved back and forth from using eyeshadow as um, to fill in my eyebrows or I use the Anastasia pomade. But today I'm going to be using the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette and I'm going to be using the shade Faint. And it is this brown shade, and you can tell that I use it a lot. <laughs> so I feel like that is the perfect shade to fill in my eyebrows. So I first um, brush my eyebrow hairs. And I grab some of the product, and I first create the line underneath, following the shape of my actual brow. And then whatever is left, I start to fill in the top. And then I push up this product that I placed near the front of the brow and this gives this gives a more like faded look. So next we're going to move on to eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm going to start off with um, filling in my crease. So I'm going to be using Cobbler and Peach Pet. I'm going to be using this MAC Fluffy Brush. I think it's number 217 but it's kind of wiped off because I've had it for a while. So yeah, this is my go-to blending brush for my crease. I usually start off on the outer part of my eye and I just go in circular motion and blend it throughout my crease. So now that I have the crease and overall base done, I'm going to be adding some shimmer into just the base part. I usually take the shade Luscious and it is like this champagne-y um, gold shade. What I like to do is use my ring finger and I just put my finger right into the shade. Then I apply it right on the lid. So 
So after the under eye has been baking for a while, I'm just going to wipe it off. And I'm using this big fluffy brush here. I'm going to be taking a uh, cobbler and peach pit again, and I'm going to be putting it under my bottom lash line. So now um, I can move into contour. I usually do my mascara last, even after my setting spray, because when I put my setting spray on after my mascara and I blink, all my mascara goes everywhere. So I always do my mascara last. So for contour, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Contour Kit. I've had this forever. I usually take this more dense fluffy brush. It's a combination of all three contour shades. I just dab in everyone. And then I start here and blend it into my cheekbone. I don't do like a hard contour. I just kind of like do a soft one and it warms up my face. Apply it just on my forehead area. Kind of making that three technique that a lot of people use. And a little bit under my lip. Just to create a little more depth. Normally, I don't do blush. I just go right into highlight. I'm going to be using the Becca highlighter and it is in the shade Opal and it is like a beautiful um, champagne-y color. And I apply it above my contour. I like this highlight because it's very subtle for like every day. Also apply it just down my nose. On my chin area of my lip, put it in the inner corner and under my brow. So my favorite go-to uh, lip liner is NYC, um, the lip liner pencil, and it is in the shade Naughty Nude. This is literally only like two, three dollars, and it is my favorite. Normally I leave the lips like that, um, or I can apply a gloss on them, or um, today I'm going to be um, applying a liquid lip over top of it. So um, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip um, liquid lipstick in the shade Milkshake. Apply it in the middle, and then I will use my finger and blend it in. So the setting spray that I always use is Urban Decay, I was going to say All Nighter, but that one wasn't in the store when I went to go get it. So I decided to buy the um, D Slick oil control one. So it looks like this. I always shake it before. And I always fan it out. So last but not least, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. <coughs> I'm going to be using the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. And then I'm also going to apply it on the bottom lashes. So this is the final everyday makeup look that I do. Um, it is very easy, very um, fresh looking, bright looking, glowy looking. Um, I think it's perfect for everyday, um, especially spring. It's very like pretty spring uh, makeup look. Um, again, very simple and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment on other videos you would like me to make, maybe some challenges, more makeup looks, hair tutorials, fashion lookbooks, um, anything, comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new here and if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for the support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!